with Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020 forum.com. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I gave eight fruits that are suitable for diabetics to consume without having to worry about blood sugar spikes. And one common complaint I had from people living in Southeast Asia, uh, in Africa, in Southern America, and uh, the Caribbean was that a lot of the fruits that I mentioned are not available in their locality because they felt these were fruits that were available in the northern hemisphere. Uh, so this video is about fixing that. In this very video, I'm going to give you 11 fruits that are suitable for uh, you to consume as a diabetic living in the tropics. So let me repeat that. I'm going to give you 11 tropical fruits that are suitable for you to consume as a diabetic living in the tropics or anywhere else for that matter. So before we go into that, uh, a quick plug. This is my book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach. Links to get a book right below this very video. So, um, 11 tropical fruits that are suitable for diabetics. Let's dive straight in. So here we go. Uh, tropical fruits that are good for diabetics. Like I've stated here, these fruits that I'm going to be talking about are good for you and your health. Okay, there's no doubt about that. I actually do mean that. So, uh, let's get on with it. Fruit number one, coconut. Okay, the sugar content in coconut is only 6 grams per 100 grams. What can you do with coconut? Well, you know, you can use it to make sweet and savory dishes, uh, make coconut sauces, and rice dishes with milk. Examples of some dishes that you can make with coconut will include things like coconut fish curry, uh, coconut macaroons, a uh, nice snack for you, uh, carrot, coconut, and lentil soup. Not bad. Uh, something for you to enjoy. So that's fruit number one. Fruit number two uh, that is tropical, that is good for diabetics, is guava. Okay, guava. Uh, the sugar content in guava is only 9 grams per 100 grams. Uh, what can you do with guava? Well, you know, the whole fruit is edible. The flesh, the seeds, and the skin, all of it is edible. So uh, go ahead, consume the whole lot. Uh, what's it taste like? Well, uh, if you're not used to it, guava does deliver notes of strawberry in taste. So uh, not bad at all. Uh, it's not too sweet. And uh, it's not too tart as well. Eat it fresh or slice it up and add it to your yogurt and enjoy uh, your guava. So that's fruit number two. Uh, let's move on to fruit number three uh, that is tropical, that is good for diabetics. And that will be acai berry. This was very popular in the noughties uh, because of uh, you know the claim to uh, weight loss. And uh, it's sold like crazy. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's time for us to have our feet on the ground and have acai berry uh, in its original form uh, because the sugar content is really, really low, 0 0.2 grams per 100 grams. What can you do with acai berry? Well, puree it uh, and then freeze the puree. You can add almond milk to the puree and uh, make some popsicles with it and uh, for you to enjoy. Uh, you can dry it up and then pulverize it into the powder form uh, for storage, and uh, you're going to love it. Uh, now, acai berry is packed full of uh, antioxidants. In fact, uh, it does qualify as a superfood, uh, if you like. Uh, another thing you can do with acai berry is that uh, you can pair it with your oats as well. So, not bad. That's uh, tropical fruit number three uh, that is suitable for diabetics. So, what is tropical fruit number four that uh, is suitable for diabetics? And that will be avocado. Okay, avocado, very low in sugar content, 0 0.7 grams per 100 grams. Uh, what can you do with your avocado? Well, add it to your salads in chunks. Uh, make salad dressings uh, with it. Uh, just scoop and enjoy uh, your avocado as a sugar-free snack, uh, and you will love it. Uh, the other thing you can do, and this is the thing that I tend to preach a lot, is that you can use avocado as a substitute for butter as well as cheese, and uh, you will love it. 
So that's uh, fruit number four. So what is uh, the tropical fruit number five that is suitable for diabetics? And that would be dragon fruit. Okay, dragon fruit, sugar content is uh, eight grams per 100 grams. Uh, dragon fruit is also known as pitaya. Now, the taste of the dragon fruit is actually understated. Uh, it's almost like kiwi taste, if you like, on the same level of sweetness with kiwi. Uh, and, and also strawberry. Uh, what can you do with your dragon fruit? Well, cut it up and toss it into salads, uh, add it to smoothies, eat it fresh on its own for refreshment, and uh, you won't regret it. So that is uh, dragon fruit, uh, which is our fruit number five. So what is the tropical fruit number six that is suitable for diabetics? Uh, and that will be papaya. Now, this one will come to you as a surprise because a lot of people tend to dismiss papaya as being too sweet. And it's not that bad, actually, because when you look into the sugar content objectively, you'll find that uh, 100 grams of papaya only delivers 8 grams of sugar. That is low. Okay, that is really low. So uh, you can still enjoy your papaya as a diabetic uh, and don't have any uh, blood sugar worries. Uh, what can you do with papaya? Eat it as is, you know, with a squeeze of lemon or lime. Uh, that will also help to control any blood sugar rise. Uh, but, uh, you know, you don't have to really worry about the sugar content, to be honest. But if you are, uh, use, uh, you know, lemon and lime to uh, uh, sort of slow down any uh, sugar absorption. Uh, what else can you do? Well, chop it up and add it to salsas. Uh, blitz it, freeze it and make some popsicles with it. Uh, so that is papaya, tropical fruit number six. That is good for diabetics. What is tropical fruit number seven that is good for diabetics? Uh, that will be passion fruit. Okay, passion fruit. Now, it's not the most elegant uh, looking fruit, uh, not particularly visually appealing. That said, uh, the sugar content is uh, just 11 grams per 100 grams. Uh, what can you do with your passion fruit? Well, use it in raw vegan desserts. Uh, top up smoothie bowls to jazz up the look and feel of your smoothie bowl. Uh, what else? Well, pair it with your yogurt uh, and uh, you love it. Uh, you can also add it to plant based milk to sweeten the milk and then drink it. Just have fun with it. Uh, and uh, passion fruit also pairs with other tart fruits. So, uh, no bad at all. So, what is tropical fruit number eight that is good for diabetics? Uh, that will be sour soap uh, with a sugar content of 14 grams per 100 grams of uh, sour soap. Uh, what can you do with sour soap? Well, use it to sweeten uh, your baked bread or uh, oatmeal, uh, any baked goods. Uh, you can use the sour soap to uh, sweeten it up. Uh, sour soap is high in antioxidants. Uh, use it in your vegan desserts. Make sorbet with it. Uh, you can also pair sars up with uh, other tart fruits as well. So not bad, not bad at all. So let's move on to tropical fruit number nine that is suitable for diabetics, and that would be lychee. Uh, I talked about this recently, a fruit that is sort of new to me. Uh, I got introduced uh, to lychee recently. The sugar content is only 14.8 grams per 100 grams of lychee. What can you do with your lychee? Uh, you can eat it as it is, or you can chop it up, and uh, the, the flesh that is, uh, add it to salads, uh, uh, use it to make sweet and sour sauces. You can also add it to smoothies. Uh, make sorbet with it, the flesh, this bit that you can see there, that's the flesh. Uh, the seed is not edible, uh, you've got to discard it, uh, as well as the peel. And you can also use it to make vegan ice cream uh, too. So that is tropical fruit number nine, that is suitable for diabetics. Now, I've got two other fruits for you. Uh, I have to say that uh, I couldn't find, uh, in, in my research, I couldn't find the sugar content of these two fruits. But uh, my hunch feeling is that uh, they are suitable for diabetics. And I'm referring to uh, rambutan here. Uh, some people call it uh, hairy lychee. So, uh, uh, you know, another fruit for you to consider. And uh, mangosteen as well. Yeah, the sugar content wasn't available uh, for both fruits. Uh, but uh, like I said, my gut feeling is that uh, these two fruits are also uh, suitable for diabetics to consume. So there you go. I've given you quite a nice selection of uh, tropical fruits there. Uh, hopefully, I have satisfied 
the first for tropical fruits uh, that are suitable for diabetics and uh, I'm also hoping that this video has delivered value to you if it did uh, please give the video a thumbs up please like the video and also please share this video with your friends with your family with your colleagues anyone living in the tropics who's got diabetes uh, should really see this video if you got any questions any comments regarding the content of this video presentation go ahead uh, leave your comments or questions down below i think that's about it for this very video until next time well this is dr joe signing ah.